Hey, everyone. I have a very special guest for you today. I have someone that is first time on the show, but I'm sure is going to be back. And we are going to start this episode out strong. But before we get into that, let's welcome Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, man? I'm doing, I'm doing good, man. Thanks for having you. I've been watching your channel. You got a bunch of good stuff you're putting out there. And so I, I feel honored to be on here chatting with you today. Well, I have a sneaky suspicion. You may become one of our experts. As you know, we have an expert of the day. Uh, you may be coming an expert series going forward. So we'll talk about that after we record these. But Matt, we wanted to get into this. and We're going to make this a Thanksgiving episode. And that is really about being thankful. Uh, you have a, a personal story of struggle and triumph that I just think in this year of 2020, people need to hear. We need to realize that we all suffer at some point. And, you know, there's hope and light at the end of the tunnel. So Matt, why don't you... Uh, why don't you share a little bit about your journey and uh, why you're thankful? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to I'll try to get through this without without getting too emotional. But um, you know, me and you talked briefly about earlier this year. I shared something on my Facebook page, and and you know, ninety five percent of the people that saw the message didn't know how much I had struggled. In two thousand eleven, I got clean and sober, but I was in a really, really dark place, and the reason I shared it was because I knew it would impact somebody. Mm -hmm. And what I didn't know, Mike, was how many people it would impact, how many people would reach out to me and, you know, hey, I've got a similar story and I've been clean for four years or, hey, my, my husband is struggling. I had people that, you know, reach out to me to, to give their husband a call. They're three weeks sober. They need somebody to talk to. I had, a, you know, presidents of mortgage companies from back east saying, hey, let's jump on a call, Matt. I want to talk about struggles I had. And I think that for me, the message that I wanted to get out there was no matter how dark, no matter how bad life can get, there's, there's hope. And in 2020, more than any other year, there's people that are suffering. There's people that have lost their jobs. They've been, you know, uh, swung back into depression or anxiety or whatever being trapped inside your house causes. It's, it's mm. a lot of bad stuff and we don't need to get into that. Mm. But, um, you know, I, I want people to know that because then when they look and they go, oh, successful mortgage broker, beautiful family, the guys live in the dream. It wasn't always like that. So if you're struggling, if you're going through something bad and you think that the world's going to end, I filed bankruptcy in 2010. I was on my third modification try when they finally modified my house before I lost it. My wife spent 61 days in high-risk maternity and almost lost our firstborn child. Like it was bad, you know, I dealt with it in a not so healthy way, yeah. but um, you know, looking back nine years, isn't that long. And you know, if, if, if I shared with you net worth and real estate doors owned and, and how awesome my business is doing. It's a great story and, and I'm proud of it, but I'm, I'm more proud of it because of the, the hole I dug out of. And I want to find anybody else who's in a hole like that and say, you know, you can get out. There is hope. Yeah, that's awesome. And again, this is going to be a Thanksgiving special. I'm, I'm saving up a couple of episodes and it's people need to hear this, right? Real life is hard, real life, yeah. you know, and, and, you know, this is probably my fourth or fifth economic cycle, and they're all hard, and they're all hard in different ways. And not only are economic cycles tough, but, you know, I've worked in, in a high stress industry. Uh, you know, you're in the mortgage industry, and, you know, that's high stress, it peaks and valleys. And I was in commission sales where, you know, people have 90 day quotas, and if you don't hit it, you get fired, right? So, high stress environment, I thrived in for 10 years. And I was around people who coped in unhealthy ways. And I've seen people utterly destroy their lives and, you know, have to, have to rebuild and uh, watching that slow decline or rapid decline, however you choose to, to look at it. Uh, you, you need to have that moment where you look yourself in the mirror and you just need to say, not anymore. And yeah. most people I talk to have that moment. And without getting into too many details, because they're probably pretty dark, I'm guessing you had a moment like that 10 years ago or nine years ago, and you're like, okay, I'm going to put one step in front of each other, 
or in, in front of each other and we're just going to get out of this. And that's what people need to realize. It is only one step at a time. Not you, not me, none of my friends have the ability to hit some easy button. It is one choice after one choice after one choice. Right, right. And, you know, for some people, I feel like when I talk about it, talk about it with my wife, I had enough people around me that cared and, yeah. and it really was my wife who is the champion of the, of the whole story. If the book awesome. gets written, she's the, she's the, she's the hero, <laughs> the heroine. Um, yeah. That's awesome. Right. Um, you know, but, but I talk to people, I talk to people that are currently struggling and then sometimes it's like an introduction and they're like, Hey, you got to get through to Johnny or whoever that person is. Mm -hmm. They've really got to be ready. And you know, I think that to a certain extent, it's a decision where you're just, like you said, no more. I've, I've had enough of this. I don't want this for myself. And, you know, sometimes even that's not enough. You get, you know, pulled back in and, and, you know, addiction's a, a powerful, powerful thing. For sure. But um, I, uh, you know, I, I look back and I was at a point where I was absolutely sick and tired of, you know, feeling how I was feeling yeah, doing sick what and I was tired doing of being and... sick and tired. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, so, so the, so the day October 19th, 2011, you know, I, I remember that day and my wife came home, told me to get in the car. I know everything. This is this we You can't do this. You know, I had a two and a half year old son at the time and I broke down. I mean, yeah. I, um, what's that word where you just, uh, surrender, you know, and, okay. and I surrendered and it's, it's been the best nine years of my life. It just keeps getting better. Nice. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for a lot of people, especially my wife, um, who helped me turn, turn this thing around. Yeah. And again, this, this episode folks is really meant to be just honest and reflective and in 2020 has been a rough year for lots of people. And you're right, the stay at home and the loss of jobs. And the, it, really for me, it's too many people have lost hope, right? I believe America is great because in general, we're hopeful, right? In general, we are a, a society of the glass is half full, right? We believe that if we work hard, uh, that we can, we can climb out of things, right? We can make tomorrow better. 2020 has really turned a dark light. I mean, when I look at the YouTube channels and... I look at people that um, are putting stuff out. There is so much negativity. It drives me crazy, right? Why are you putting out this yeah. garbage to scare people? That we need to, we need to turn the positive light. The, the room is dark enough. If you are contributing content on YouTube that scares people and keeps it dark, you're not okay. Stop it. Let us, let's turn the light <laughs> right. on. Let's be a at least a candle, right? If it's not a light, it starts with a candle. And then it's two candles and then it's three candles. We will get through this. America will not end. We will get by this. You can argue when, I don't care, but I promise you we will get through this just like every other dark moment. And it really bothers me that negativity is winning today. And that's why I'm doing this Thanksgiving special because again, everybody has dark days, whether it's addiction, loss of job, loss of uh, so, you know, someone in your family. Um, but if you make a choice and you stick with it long enough, it will get better. Yeah. That's the message. Hope, hope is not lost no matter how dark it may seem. Yeah. For now, hope's not lost. And again, that post you did on Facebook, you did that for yourself, right? You were hoping to impact one person. And the beauty is when you put out light like that, you just never know where it goes. So you've, you've probably helped hundreds, but I'm going to guess thousands of people by realizing that, you know what, if, if he can do it, I can do it. You're an example. Uh, and, and oh, by the way, let's not kid ourselves. You make a choice every day, right? Addiction yeah, is powerful. Sure. And, um, you know, so I want to congratulate you on nine years. It's not over. Let's do another nine and then another nine and then another yeah. nine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, any kind of closing thoughts as we, we put out this Thanksgiving special that you want to live, leave people with? Um, not necessarily, just more of that same stuff that, you know, no matter how dark it may seem or, or wherever you're at, wherever your current position is in life, I don't want anybody to think that, you know, there's no hope because not only was I, 
broke and addicted, you know, mentally, spiritually, emotionally bankrupt. Right. But I, ha- I didn't come from anything. You know, I, I've, I've, I've got a dad who was a truck driver and made about $1,300 a month and had a $900 a month mortgage payment. And oh. I went to public school. And so I'm not the smartest. I'm not the most educated. I, I'm not any of that stuff, but I just didn't give up. Right. And so now here I am at 40 years old, um, blessed beyond measure. And it's because I didn't give up. Matt, Matt, just in case anybody wants to reach out, how can they find you, get a hold of you, maybe see that Facebook post? Uh, where would they like to follow you? Um, you can you can check me out on Facebook and, and Matt Gouget, or if you type in Matt, the mortgage guy, you'd probably find me there. I try to make it that um, across all social channels, searching Matt, the mortgage guy should land you uh, on my YouTube page, on my Facebook page, you know, LinkedIn, wherever the heck else I'm putting out stuff. There you go. Well, Matt, do me a favor, spell that last name because I have no idea. (laughs) G-O-U-G-E. I would not have even been close. (laughs) Very cool, Matt. Well, this has been fun. This again is a Thanksgiving special. I I appreciate you stepping up to do this. Uh, I look forward to our next two shows. Thank you, buddy. Cool.